All right, guys. Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Zai Jira, of course. And today we have a DIY for you guys. So today I'm basically going to be making um, my tables for my surprise bridal proposal. Shh, don't tell anyone. So me and my mother decided we were going to do, obviously I was engaged and I still am not at 100 subscribers. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button so I can post my engagement, um, how my fiance went about my our proposal and everything else. It was absolutely beautiful. But anyway, I'm engaged. I can't lift this, but yes, I am engaged. There's the bling, bling, bling. So now the next process is to, you know, obviously do my bridal proposals, my bridal babe proposals, whatever. They're not bridesmaids. We are calling them bridal babes. So I am doing a surprise proposal. I don't know if I should do a part two video of like the surprise and everything. I think I'm going to do it separately of like everything that we're doing and how I'm going up with surprise and how I did it and yeah, yeah, yeah. But today is strictly how we're setting up. Um, the picnic so in a sense we are doing a surprise picnic and I found these pallets um, literally across the street from me from where I live at this tire place they have a sign that says free pallets so shout out to I think it's ENS tire they only sell truck tires so I thought I was gonna be able to also finesse some tires for my car but strictly truck um, tractor trailer tri tires they have two locations at Edison but nonetheless they have free pallets. If you're looking for some pallets, go head over there. And if you're in the Middlesex Edison area, they're right there. So I got four today. I think four should be enough, but basically I'm just going to be sanding them. May give them a paint or so. I'm not sure yet. My mom is technically doing all of designing and stuff like that, planning um, of the picnic itself. I was responsible for grabbing the pallets because I saw that they were free. So I got the palettes today. I'm going to take you guys through how I'm going to sand them. And then I'm probably going to do a little bit of placemat just to make sure I have enough. And yeah, yeah, yeah. So, out of breath. Let's go on ahead and go outside. All right, y'all. So here are the palettes. I actually like these ones. He had different variations of, of um, palettes, like the ones that have like the gaps in between. But he also had these that have like the flat surface so I decided to go with these so there's four here I'm gonna have to um, hammer these little things off I'll probably save them for later for legs but yeah so here's what they look like so I'm gonna rip these things off and then we're gonna go ahead and start sanding so let's go ahead and get started okay so this is the sander handheld sander I'm using it's by whatever I'll link it below I don't even know if you guys can see it but it's that one. Y'all, it was literally so hot this day. I was drenching in sweat. But basically, I don't finish the video, sadly, um, with the final results because it was such a rushed like, project. But basically, in this clip, I'm just taking those little, I don't know what you want to call them, off. Because they some of them came on the palette, some of them didn't. Um, so I only needed a total of four palettes. So I had to... I think it's supposed to be 12 something like that um but yeah so i had did one person at the top one person at the end and then i did four people on each side um so basically what i'm doing now i'm just sanding the top of the tables um or the top of the palette just to give it a smooth surface I'm going to drop in a video of the final results of what we did. So, and I'll, I'll drop links to everything <clears throat> that we used to purchase. So, basically, we had got all the pillows from Home Goods. Um, I don't actually have the link for those. All the pillows from Home Goods. We had just bought some, I think we got about like eight um, or maybe four yards of fabric. Um, that like ivory color, and then we got the champagne color. So, we had thrown the ivory color. On the tabletop and then we threw the champagne for like the floor i forgot what the little plates are called but we got placemats the pink things we got placemats and then we got i forgot what the gold things are called but we got those from amazing savings we got the little champagne glasses 
the little tabletop chandelier things my mom got from Amazon. And the thing that's covered um, in tool also in from Amazon. I'll link that. I don't know exactly what it's called, but got that from Amazon. The silverware is all plastic from Amazing Savings. And I don't know if you guys can see the little backdrop, but the little gold, um, the gold thing, the gold circle thing, like the photo shoot thing, um, I had also got from Amazon that I ended up keeping because I ended up, I ended up using that at my engagement party. But we also had a tent, um, that obviously I just got from Walmart, a white tent just to cover us up because again, it was blazing hot. And the crudery board, if I'm saying that correctly, me and my mother made. We just got the fruits and the crackers and cheese from Walmart. And the little um, thing or the gold dish that the fruit and everything is sitting on, we got from Home Goods. So it was a quick and easy project. Um, it actually did take us a few times because, it, again, it was a surprise. So I couldn't ask any of my bridal babes to help me set it up. So it was just me and my mother the morning of... Um, and yeah, it's just a quick, easy, it was cute, it was fun, and most of the stuff we ended up returning, don't tell anyone that, but most of the stuff we ended up returning because we didn't use it or didn't need it any longer. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do a part two of like the girls coming in, our pictures, and how just everything worked out. I'll drop up in the part two, I'll drop in what I stuffed their bags in and then i'll show you guys their actual bags and some of the reactions so. so yes overall it was a success i'm happy with how everything turned out um i want to show you a big shout out to my mother for helping me and helping me with the ideas and the overall concept of the picnic um shout out to all my bridal babes and stay tuned for part two i'm going to be doing a series on all of my wedding planning so thank you guys so much for joining again if you're not subscribed make sure you hit the subscribe button and i'll see you on the next video bye